Small polymers are a class of polymer that can respond to external stimulation and perform a variety of tasks. The type of external stimuli can be quite diverse, including, for example, temperature change, humidity change, biological triggers, and even electrical field. We wanted to see if we can design polymers that can do things that are otherwise impossible. Once you get to that goal, you want to ask the next question. Could it be used to solve our societal problems? Really pushing the frontier in polymer science where the principle of polymer science uh, either uh, pre-existing scientific principle or new scientific principles that can be used to expand the capability of shape-shifting materials or programmable polymers in general. We introduced plasticity into our material so we can get a 3D complex shape already and the material has two transition temperature so um, this, this procedure may be uh, enable the reversible two-way two shape memory uh, behavior. We also get a lot of uh, driving force from our collaborators who works on uh, flexible electronics, uh, soft robotics. They give us the inspirations on what to design. Things This is by Design Lab, uh, led by Professor Ying Wu Luo, uh, has explored this uh, soft materials for uh, quite a few years and uh, we have developed quite a, uh, we, ha we have developed solid knowledge uh, about uh, dielectric elastomers and also uh, the basic principle of actuating these materials and uh, the design and uh, controllable synthesis of these materials as well. This is uh, the fish uh, built with uh, uh, dielectric elastomer actuators and when we apply the electric field uh, on these two electrodes and uh, it will uh, create an electric field and uh, actuate the dielectric elastomer. And uh, uh, the deformation or the mechanical response of these uh, dielectric uh, elastomers will uh, actually uh, help the movement of this uh, fish. We think uh, if we can start with some rational design, that will guide us to a more efficient synthesis and a more productive way to make scientific research. So we're really lucky that we work with a, uh, a group of very capable collaborators. They are essential to our research. I'm working on, uh, uh, it's called a cancer drug delivery. Uh, basically is using uh, uh, by compatible polymers to deliver drugs to the disease size, uh, particularly a cancer or tumor. Right now, we try to uh, de develop the carriers, particular polymers, to overcome this uh, tumor penetration problem. For example, we designed two polymers that can, uh, once arrived in the tumor, it, uh, the, the, the polymer can, or uh, the uh, car uh, polymer carrier can get out from the uh, tumor blood vessel very quickly and uh, penetrate or infiltrate in the whole tumor very quickly. Right now, we can, uh, surely on the tumor model, we can uh, complete, completely eliminate the bigger tumors. For example, you have 500 uh, cubic millimeter, that's a really big one. And uh, for most uh, systems, there's no uh, 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 ability to stop or slow down its growth already. We don't want stresses, they degrade uh, material properties. But we feel that if we can control stresses in a uh, highly controllable digital manner, we can do a lot of fun things with it. We are the first group to use the stress which is, which is invisible in natural light, but visible in polarized light to record information in unshaped memory polymer film. So in my experiment, uh, we, we control the stress distribution in the polymer film, and in this way, we can record information using stress. 
one of the things would be to uh, use the associated biofringent color to make invisible information carrier. Many materials in nature has uh, provided us plenty of inspirations to develop uh, functional materials. And um, particularly we are interested in polar bear here, which you know, makes the polar bears can survive in extreme cold environment, even at minus 40 C. The polar structure is actually in polar bear here is quite unique because it has a very dense shell and then uh, uh, regular polar structure, hierarchical polar structure within the fiber. So these kind of hierarchical design basically give the, give the polar bear here the strength and also the uh, high thermal insulating property. The next step for, you know, usually for the biomimetic research is that we not only want to just mimic what natural materials can do, but we really want to do more than what the natural material can do. We want to, you know, combine different functions that we discover in different natural materials and make them into a real synthetic material, you know, that has multifunctionality, for example. For example, we are now making the textile uh, that we mimic the uh, thermal insulating property from polar bear here and make it, for example, super hydrophobic surface and then making them self-cleaning and even transfer these kind of material, you know, using other uh, uh, more high temperature resistant materials so that this textile can be used at a relatively high temperature, right? So these are not required for polar bears, but we like, we like them, we need them, right, for other special applications. So we're trying to do beyond polar bear hair. Nacre is sort of a natural material that's really unique in its structure and its mechanical property. It consists of 95% of calcium carbonate, which are not mechanically that great, but also 5% of biopolymer that are not great either. But by combining two things that are not great individually, you, you actually have a wonderful material in terms of these mechanics. But natural nacres don't self-heal. They cannot undergo shape shifting. The ones we make, we introduce a smart polymer as a binder, and all of a sudden it becomes a piece of a synthetic nacre that can self-heal, that can undergo complex shape shifting behavior. First, the freeze the hydrogel totally and then control the UV light spatially. And because uh, due to the hydrogel with dynamic bonds, it will release the, uh, release the internal energy um, under the exposed uh, UV light. So uh, after we melt the hydrogel, the exposed area will return, um, fix the pore state and the other area will return to it, the original state. So we can um, get the patent pores hydrogel. Just uh, using the same system, we can get, uh, we can use it to design a three-dimensional um, shape because um, the exposed area will release its internal energy, so it will release the whole 3D-dimensional um, shape, ex uh, shape exchange, and we can design different um, shape. This university has a right culture that promotes innovation, promotes world-class research. You can find a variety of different expertise within the campus, which allows you to venture into different fields with collaborations. We're really fascinated what you can do with the smart polymers, both in the fundamental science on expanding the material property envelope, but also what new application that we can come up with.